Hi, it's John. Hey, okay, before I show you this video, this is really funny. Listen to this. Okay, this is, you're gonna think this is so weird. You're gonna think this is so weird. Okay, before I lift the weights right here, before I lifted the weights, here's the thing that gave me tons of energy. I drank tons of caffeine in the middle of the night after resting a little. It was, it was last night. I was up all night. Up all night, dudes. I took a big crap. What? This is so funny. This is so weird. I drank all this caffeine and I took a really big crap because I had been eating so heavy for two months. And um, I took a really big... <laughs> this is the weirdest thing that you'd ever imagine. And I took a crap... And then I had all this energy and this caffeine. I felt like I was really excited because caffeine's a diuretic and it makes people use a bathroom. And then it feels like their stomach's skinny. They have all these tons of energy. <laughs> and I lifted the hugest weights I've ever lifted. I did 20 reps or something like that. I'll show you in the video or 17 or 10. However many of the 20 pound, of the 100 pound dumbbells, the 100 pound dumbbells. It was amazing. I was not expecting it because I was depressed for two months. It was sucked. But then I lifted the heaviest weights I've ever lifted for bench press. It was really weird just because I'd been eating so much protein. And um, then this is really weird what happened. Well, I worked out a little more and then I felt like anxiety and nervous. Like, why am I working on my health and drinking all this caffeine and no food? And I was awake all night. So I was like, it felt appropriate to eat some food. So I ate almost like a half of a big giant loaf of bread, a half of a loaf of bread that was like this big. It was pretty big. It was a huge loaf of bread and I ate a big part of it. And um, I, I kept eating food. I ate all this food the rest of the day and um because it felt wrong to try to be skinny and stuff and with the caffeine it gave me anxiety and it felt awkward or wrong or bad or something whatever anyway sometimes it helps a lot but i did do the huge bench press so this is the really weird thing that you're never gonna believe this is so weird I had these yogurt cups that have cookies in them. I've been eating like more sweets and stuff. I gained weight. I gained weight since earlier this year. And I had four of them. That was the last thing I ate because I just got really hungry again. I had been editing. I edited this whole video. When I was done, I ate four yogurts. And then something happened where I had to use the bathroom in here. But something told me, don't go use the bathroom in here. And um, so I went downstairs, like the door had been open and I didn't want to use the bathroom in here. So I went downstairs and it took so long to get down there. By the time I was down there, I really had to use the bathroom and it felt like there was a giant turd, like, like all through here that was like, like this long. Like it felt like there's a giant turd this long that was really wide like a huge giant turd that that was all my whole body and and I was going like this and I was like whoa that it was the weirdest thing ever I had never felt that way it was <laughs> this is real this is real and then I was like instead of going with it and being like wow this is the biggest turd I've ever gonna I'm ever gonna make or something like that instead of going with it I was like I, it was very real. It felt like I was walking with that giant, huge turd, like from here all the way down, like a giant one this big, this long, this long, like this long, that was really huge. And I could visualize it, and it was like taking up my whole body, all the food that I had eaten. I had been eating food all day. I'm, I'm still awake. I only rested for about two hours. I was eating food, so I didn't feel anxiety and and I could and I was walking into the bathroom and then I was like oh it's not really that big it's not that big and I tried to act like it was smaller than it was because I was I, I felt awkward <laughs> awkward about something like that me actually doing something like that and then it was like and then I got the thought oh it's ruined why'd you do that or something <laughs> like, 
it was ruined it would have been a huge but i made i used the bathroom and it was huge but not as huge as i had thought it was about it was about this long it was about this long and it was pretty wide too but i can't show it but it was huge, but not but not as big as I had visualized and thought, oh my gosh, what's happening? That I felt like it was taking up my whole body and <laughs> and I and I um I used the bathroom and then I got energy again because I felt like I finally used the bathroom and I was like, yeah, I'm cool. And um and so I came up here and um and then, uh, and then in this video, I talk about some good stuff. So I'm going to tell you what's in this video. This is awesome. This tells you about the meaning of everything. Okay, bye. Bye. I'll give you another introduction here. When I first walked up, after I had walked upstairs, just got done using the bathroom, the giant turd, and I was pretending like I wasn't going to say anything about it because I, I didn't want anyone to know. <laughs> and I filmed this video. I filmed this video, and I'll put it right here. This is the actual video I filmed after I made the giant turd. Hi, everybody. It's John Birmingham. I cut my hair short, and at one time I dyed it dark. It was black but it came out really black. And as you can see, I've been under a lot of stress. My neck looks fatter. <laughs> my neck looks fatter. Um, I had two months of horrible depression. Uh, really bad depression. And I guess I don't look that bad. You know, I can still kind of pull it off or whatever. But I had dark hair and there had been blue in it before. And I was trying to just make it a, li a little lighter. And it came out blue again. And I was like, <laughs> I, I, was, I was trying to, this is amazing what I do in this video. I've been eating so much food and so depressed for so long. I gained 10 pounds or 8 pounds of fat. And um, for a couple days, I started working out a lot, drinking caffeine. And I did sleep a while in between and take a rest. And then... Last night, in the middle of the night, I was awake all night last night because I drank a bunch of caffeine. Now, since then, I've eaten a bunch of food and and it looks like a little, I don't know, it's not that bad. I look okay or whatever, you know, but in the middle of the night, I woke up and drank caffeine and I got super energy, super energy, like tons of energy. And I did the biggest bench press I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I don't know how I did it because I was eating so much food. And I was eat, I was making sure to eat protein, most of the calories from protein. So I didn't eat too much of the sweets. And it must have helped me have more muscle on me. And I was working out here and there, but not a lot. And I did the biggest bench press I've ever done in my life. And I'm going to show you here. And it was 8 or 10 pounds. <laughs> it was 8 or 10 pounds. Um fatter than I was earlier this year when I had lost a lot of weight. And I'm going to show some archive footage of me with a short, with a, a long hair when I was growing my hair long before this traumatic stuff started happening to me. And I, I, I don't know what it was, if it was in my mind. And I think it was just anxiety. I think it was something about drinking caffeine when I was off the medicine, which I tried to do here and there. <laughs> and, um, Anyway, by the end of the, I'm going to talk about what's really most important through the, throughout the whole video. You can see my physique was not that great when I had long hair. I was in really good shape earlier this year. Something happened. The first time in two years, I felt amazing and started getting in really good shape. I had, I had long blonde, kind of longer blonde hair, not all the way long. That's what I wanted to have since I was 10 years old. And for some reason, I had to cut it again. And anyway, let's just check out the video. Near the end of the video, you can see my best physique from earlier this year, which is like the best physique I've been in in a few years. But um, some of it's just kind of like, you know, it was a it was okay shape, but not that great. 
And this was like out of nowhere. I'd been eating so much protein that I lifted the heaviest I've ever lifted. The most reps. Okay. And then you learn what is really most important about being alive. You learn about God's truth in this video. I'm going to talk to you about the Bible. I'm going to talk to you about Jesus's gospel on earth and what's really most important, the key to what everything means, the truth about everything, God's truth. Listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to all of it. Please check it out. An entertaining video. I edited it on my iPhone. Doesn't have any fancy effects or much besides dissolves and some titles here and there. Okay. Bye. I'm going to see how many bench press I can do these hundred pound dumbbells, 200 pounds free weight as dumbbells, a little harder to balance. See if I can do as many as a steroids person without doing steroids. Wow. I've never done steroids. Let's see. I'm going to do this. Maybe as a steroid user. <laughs> Whoa. That was a miracle. So most I've ever done, 20. The last one was not in perfect form. 20 reps of that. Now, that's pretty awesome. Okay, everybody. Wow. That is huge. Look at, look at the leg muscles in the whole thing. That is awesome. Wow. This is what you get when you really work out to be an actor so you look good enough to be in front of the camera. Look at that. 10 pounds shy of Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. 230 pounds. Wow. That's that's okay. But guess what? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This stomach is not like Arnold Schwarzenegger on a stage. <laughs> I was really bad it stuck out that time. No, come on. Let me get this a little bit better looking. Come on, I can do this. Let's do this. Look at here. And looking good is generally not something you want to make your work on earth. You're supposed to do God's work, work, God's work, kindness to others, not just yourself, not serving yourself to look as good as you can. <laughs> Unless, of course, you are really good about doing it.
unless you're really good about doing it, unless you look so amazing, way amazing, like the best looking um, physique in your city, in your whole town, or, the, or, you know, you know, in your whole town, that would be amazing if you could motivate people motivate people to get in shape like you got in shape and make them so happy and excited, you know, not, not excited to see, happy to see me, you know, not in a sexual way, but excited like Jack LaLanne did, like Jack LaLanne made a good living at that and motivated so many people to be in their best physique. He was really good at what he did and he did God's work. And he was able to also stay in really good shape. It's a miracle, so I think it's possible. This is what I'm really trying to look like. <sighs> Literally, it would be amazing to be able to have this low body fat and be in that great shape. Can you imagine how many subscribers I'd finally bring back to my channel? And what they want to do is have my work noticed enough to make a living at it my films my videos and as somebody in front of camera you got to have a look kind of unless you're really good at something that you do i can't imagine why being in front of camera would be bad but it makes me happy after struggling with um body dysmorphic disorder or something like that when I was growing up insecurity and insecurity about the way I look for a long time um, and you know makes me happy to work at that being in front of camera but I do other stuff too it says in the Bible that appearance and the way things look how expensive the house is how good you look in your body um, how, how cool your car looks those things are not significant in God's eyes however if you use your health to help others that's why I try to help others with my health it's not because I'm trying to play the part of a doctor or something like that I have no desire to be a doctor it's just not me. I respect doctors and we need them. They're really good. They help us be okay. But the reason why I try to help people with their health is not because I'm trying to act cool. It's because I want to help others so I don't feel guilty about just trying to look as good as I I I want to I want to look, look and to make me feel happy like And when you work at your health, really your health, like you're eating, you know, you're eating really healthy and everything, it makes you feel better too. And so I like to work at that. So if it's not hurting anyone, it's not that bad. If you push it too hard and it starts being mean to others to make sure you keep looking as good as you can, that's really bad. That is work of unrighteousness. They may make you personally happy, but it, it does not appeal to God at all. It's not God's work. So I think there is a reason why I didn't take that all, you know, as they, as some people, they go too far with this stuff. And I know there was a reason why I did my real work, my screenwriting, my movies. And then no matter how I felt, I had to do the other stuff. No matter how I felt, eventually I had to really work at it for about 14 years full time. And I worked at some other odd jobs here and there, but not that much in school. I did a lot of that. And um, raising my kids was really good. And it was a lot of God's work. The work that the stuff I didn't want to work at, it made me feel you know, not as great. Um, and it was really difficult. It was a lot of God's work because God wants us to work. And, he, and it's not supposed to be easy. And that's the devil's fault. The devil messed that up for us. Because Adam and Eve had eternity in Eden in paradise... And he told them not to eat from the tree and they ate from the tree and it gave them the knowledge of evil so they couldn't help but to sin and along with that 
the age deteriorate die they had to work at the garden to make sure that it kept making food and that they could eat the man had to work the woman had to support the man emotionally emotionally support him and um there were equals and now they have to dep now depending on how they act in their life how they are towards others how good and we are how good we are on earth that says whether or not we go to heaven or hell after we die and so it depends on what happens to our souls and our souls are forever and we either go to heaven or hell heaven is infinitely beautiful so much love acceptance no worries nothing bad only good there no sin at all it's really beautiful i saw someone from heaven one of my relatives come down and i know for a fact it was heaven i'd say because he was just in this place that was infinitely more beautiful than anything i've seen here that was possible and it made it put things in perspective to see how much we sin even in small ways as human beings Here's my son Ivan, raising him and his brother Rowan, his older brother Rowan, are a lot of my good work on earth. That, that was God's work. And I did my best at the time, using faith in God, sometimes um, faith without, without knowing a lot about the Bible. I still did my best God's work to be a good father and I want to do more of that and I'm trying to get to see my kids but um, you know I don't want to let it kill me so there's only so much I can do I'm trying my best and it's this way for a reason I don't know why I do my best and I try to give all the glory to God instead of myself and do my best work to entertain people with my videos, my films. I have so many videos and so many films and there are fewer films but they're very high quality for a YouTube video. They're very high production value that went into producing my films. Um, some of my best work is up to the standards of today, up to the highest quality standards of, you know, what's considered high production value, good content, really good content, original content. And um, then I have other ones that are like unedited and not as high quality because I have so many videos. So you can look through them, check out stuff, be entertained. I have a, I have a playlist of Roan and Ivan. On here, my son's Roan and Ivan. And these are pictures of them and their baby sister, Ayla, and their mom. And um, I give credit to the pictures to uh, Danica. Some of them are on her page, or Ron and I took them of themselves. And, you know, I'm trying to go see them when it's appropriate to go see them as much as I can. I already visited them seven times, and then I have not seen them in almost two years. Next month, next month it'll be two years that I haven't seen them. And I keep in contact with them online as much as I can. And, um, I feel it's not safe to go traveling a lot and out there a lot, like all the time, away from home um, with the COVID-19 stuff. So I'm gonna get there as soon as I can. And I'm just working at trying to pay my bills and do God's work, do God's work and pay my bills. It's something that I'm good at. 
which is really post-production I do a lot of, but this video in particular is just done on an iPhone. It's very simple editing, not my best work. Um, you can check out a playlist of my feature films, my music videos, feature length videos, some other ones that are higher quality, more of my best work, some thought out, some real screenplays written from beginning to, you know, first act, second act, third act, real screenplays. I may get more into screenwriting, you know. I may get more into screenwriting. You know, I don't have the best physique ever. I have some body fat on me. I look like a little fatter than, uh, uh, you know, I might be a writer. I am a writer. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a writer who had my screenplays produced as movies. I produced them myself. <sighs> Physically created every prop, every um, thing besides the actors, all the things seen in front of camera, besides a physical location that was already existing, or, you know, things that appeared in the script, like a, like a van with um, the band inside, and... Um, the various stuff that I had written into the screenplay, <sighs> thought out, wrote a narrative screenplay, a story, as a movie, and I made the movies, I produced the movies. Pretty good for just editing for 30 or 40 hours, and I looked terrible yesterday, today, I worked out all day, all day. Okay, I'm gonna go, bye. Check out more videos, click like, subscribe, bye. This is John Birmingham, see you later.